All right, everyone. So as you know, Thursdays is our food pantry day. And again, we go to two walk-ins, choose your items. But this is the one in the morning and this is no longer choose your item. So I walked in this morning to my surprise, there was a line because we normally um, like a certain group of us go at nine o'clock and then she has another group at 10 o'clock and so so on. But I walked in this morning and there were folks I've never seen before. There was a line, everything was different. And she said, we can no longer choose our items. So apparently whoever's in charge of all the food banks came in and told them they were giving out too much food and they had to ration and they now have to pack the bags for you so that's what happened that that's why everything you see here um, besides the meat is probably something you would think I wouldn't pick up and I saw things I would have picked up but I couldn't because they don't allow it anymore so I don't know how this is gonna go every week I don't know if we'll continue to go there. Um, the fact that we got two meats um, doesn't happen all the time. So I was very surprised on that. Normally it's one meat or a pizza. So now this food pantry is on the other side of town for us. We live on the north side. This is on the south side. And going through the city, it takes me about 15 to 20 minutes to get here. So, I'm not sure what we're going to do going forward as far as this food pantry. Uh, we may pick up at another food pantry that's closer, that we also would get to choose our stuff at. But, um, somebody said that one's changed also. So, I don't know. Um, but I'll just show you what we received in our bag today. Uh, this is a pack of chicken breast. And there's five individually wrapped uh, pouches of chicken breast. You can see them in there. And then we did get a pound of ground beef. And we got a bag of cracker sticks. Don't know what I'm doing with that. So some of this stuff, um, much of this stuff, I don't know what I'm going to do with. I may see if the neighbor will use it. I don't know so we got this box of fruity wheels um, your I don't even know that brand Pampa but I'll taste them and it may be uh, it ends up being a snack you just eat like that and then we got a family size of chicken flavored rice aroni we could probably do something with that and these are small shells and canned asparagus, black beans, which we don't like black beans, so I'll see if my neighbor or something will use that, and chicken noodle soup. So that is the morning pantry. Like I said, I don't know what the future will be as far as us going back. Uh, uh, Myself and another lady met up at the pantry that goes on later in the day and we had, we were talking about it and we were going to see if she would allow us, even if she, you know, rationed how many we get from each section, that if we could just pick, even if it's just like one type of bean, just give us one can, that way at least we're getting something we know we're going to use. And not something we're going to have to find somebody <laughs> that may use this stuff. So, so yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't know. But that is the morning pantry. Um, I was a bit surprised walking into it. Um, so, yeah. All right, so I'm going to put this away and bring on the next one. All right, everyone. So here is the second food pantry haul. And this one, this is the one where I usually stood outside for like 40 minutes so I can get ahead of the line. 
But today I decided to go, I've been going late recently and I end up just being able to walk in and grab stuff. But today I went a half hour before they closed and the line was jam packed. I couldn't believe all the people that were there. And uh, yeah, so it's it just tells you how the price of food is so unaffordable these days. So yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, we got two packs of corn tortillas. Uh, these are yellow corn. So we got those. We got two little tubes of summer sausage. These look like they would be like samples or something. We got four apples. Uh, most of the stuff was gone already. So normally you get three produce items. Uh, most of the stuff was gone. So I got the apples and this was the last bell pepper. And then we did get a pound of ground beef. So that's good. So that gives us two pounds of ground beef for today. As you can see, I've got a bo box of cornflakes and you know what I like that for. And a little... Uh, jar of fajita seasoning so yeah I'd like to make some like chicken fajitas for myself sometime uh, I know Glenn doesn't he doesn't really like chicken so I'll have to try that for myself and a can of uh, peaches a can of pork and beans and a jar of peanut butter so that is everything from this week's food pantry haul I also have some wonderful friend mail to share with you, so stay tuned. Okay, everyone, so here is the first part of our wonderful friend mail. And all of this friend mail that I'm showing you today comes from Danette. I hope I'm not mispronouncing that, but Danette, thank you so much. I, I couldn't believe what I saw here. Uh, Danette just totally spoiled the the fur babies I we thank you so much I, I couldn't believe it it's so wonderful when we get stuff for the fur babies and we can kind of mark that off the list that we don't have to get them that saves us from having to buy them but oh my gosh thank you and they love pate and you probably saw that from my video but yeah they love this stuff oh thank you so much and the treats these are uh temptations and there's three 16 ounce bags this is uh they're soft inside and crunchy outside and as you can see it's open they already started eating them so they've got there's chicken flavor surfer's delight which i'm guessing this is and catnip fever so we got those and then this is the catnip one catnip so that is wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, that that's amazing. You guys, you guys just continue to. Uh, you know what you do to us. You know what you do. You leave us speechless, and we're so thankful for this. We appreciate it so much. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And the fur babies, thank you so much. Gypsy loves her soft and chewies. <laughs> and if she could she would eat the temptations as well so but thank you so much for this and now I'm going to put this away and bring on the other stuff okay so here is the other half of this wonderful friend mail Danette I can't thank you enough I could never thank any of you enough for this this means so much to me so much to us but look at this six pack of old el paso refried beans and if you watch my hauls my my food pantry hauls you all know that if i see refried beans i'm taking them because we go in spurts where we can go through a lot at one time and i always love to have canned refried beans on stock in our shelves so thank you so much oh i couldn't believe it when i saw a six pack of refried beans yes <laughs> yes uh, I, it's like Christmas morning you know when you guys send us and everything you're sending us are things we need oh unbelievable unbelievable you just leave leave me speechless with this and over here this is a two pack and each 
uh, jar. Well, they're plastic, but each one is 30 ounces, which is the normal size we get. And you all know we use Miracle Whip over mail. Uh, for us, we just love Miracle Whip. And she sent two of those two packs, but as you can see, one of them is open already. And again, you all, you, you had perfect timing, Danette. We were out of Miracle Whip, and I needed it to make a supper salad that we're taking for tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to the air show. I don't know how much we're going to see, but we're going right at a boat launch area where the, some of the airplanes will fly over. And I needed the Miracle Whip to make that, so <laughs> perfect timing. Oh, I love it. I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much, Danette. I just so speechless that you guys just think of us this way and help us out. You guys have no clue how much this means to us. Um, that how much this helps us out. That we don't have to go out and buy this because the cost, the prices are just rising and rising, and that you all just take it out of your money to buy your own groceries and you buy for us and I can't tell you how much that means means to us so thank you so much Danette this this is wonderful I love it I love all of it so thank you uh, I could go on it on and on and I can never thank any of you enough so from the bottom of my heart Thank you, Danette, and thank you, everyone. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. Um, I've got some other stuff to do tonight before before we go tomorrow. Um, i got to go get some gas in a gas can, fill up a generator in case we need to turn it on for the air conditioning in the trailer. i got to hook up the trailer. I've already made the supper salad. Oh, that, uh, on that last... Uh, was it the last one where we received that big box of snacks with the potato chips and the cookies? Oh, <laughs> those grandma's cookies were amazing. The bags with the miniature chocolate chip cookies were so good. And the ones with the big brownie cookies, the chocolate chocolate chip ones, the big two-pack ones. Oh, loved them. Loved them. <laughs> so we're taking some of those snacks with us tomorrow. And I'm going to look on Amazon if I can find uh, some of those packages with some more of those little chocolate chip ones. So we loved them. Grandma's cookies, we loved them. <laughs> so those came out of perfect time for tomorrow's outing. Oh, I can't believe it. So thank you so much. Now I'm going to close out the video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I appreciate all your support. And I appreciate everyone who donates through Patreon. Everyone who donates through Buy Me A Coffee. And everyone who sends us stuff. And just everyone who watches the ads. Because that's important to our revenue. Is that all the ads get watched. So. Uh, and I got some stuff I'm thinking of doing. So. Stay tuned. Um, I'm setting up an area in the living room so I can do more live streams for you. Um, so stay tuned. I'll talk about all of that in the next video. So with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.